Am I the only person irritated by people calling my number at odd times? And often, I have no clue who these people were, who unfortunately had dialed the wrong number? I thought I was a magnet for people calling wrong numbers, sometimes at odd times. I have had my share of wrong numbers that you would not believe. Here are some examples. One day, unexpectedly, the phone started ringing. Mother picked up the phone. Hello? Okay, said Mother. There's somebody on the other line, Mother said. It is for you, Jason. I picked up the phone. There is somebody on the other line. Very incoherent. I can hardly hear the person on the other line. Um, 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 uh, the voice from the other line said. Hey, Jason. This is Jason from the future. I'm just calling to let you know that there is nothing to worry about and to assure you that puberty can be challenging, but you will get through it before you know it. So do not be alarmed because everything is going to be okay. I am sorry, but you have the wrong number. I hung up. If you grew up in a tech crazy generation like I did, where smartphones were the new thing and everybody and their grandmother had one, especially my classmates, except me, you would understand where I am coming from. My parents are not wealthy, but we are well off, but they refused to get me a smartphone when I was growing up because they did not want me to have access to the almighty internet. Remember, this device could easily fit into my pocket, and I kept wondering, what harm could it do? But no, my parents are stringent and did not want me to look at the dreaded internet stuff, which backfired badly. Indeed, they chose not to buy me a smartphone like my friends. They did not allow me to have a cell phone until I was 16. As a grown man and an adult who uses a cell phone daily, I could not imagine how I survived that many years without a cell phone. Even when they finally gave in, they still did not want me to have a smartphone. Only the flip type of cell phone, the Relic Mobile Phone, which I talked about in one of my previous videos. Thinking about those days, I remember an emergency when I needed to call my parents, and there were no phones miles away. So I had to ask the nearest person, one of my friends, if I could use his cell phone. Remember, my parents knew I had no phone and was in the wilderness, yet they did not ask, Hey Jason, where did you get the phone? Yep, my parents are wonderful parents, but too strict for their own good. If you are a parent out there watching this video right now, I would advise giving your child a damn cell phone. It could save your child's life one day. Mind you, it does not have to be a smartphone. Any old relic flip phone, like the ones used by our neighbor dealers of you-know-what, will do just fine. Take it from me, a guy with no children who spends a lot of time on the internet. And if not for any other reason, give them a cell phone just in case they run into trouble, like an emergency, where they need to call the police or some emergency help. The only downside to giving a child a cell phone is that he neglects everything, including homework and chores, and spends all his time on the phone. And if your child is careless and easily distracted, there is a way to get his attention quickly. Then turn the damn thing off. Turn off his services until he grows up. Yep, that will teach him. Those days, I did not grow up in the 90s, when iPhones and Blackberries were the things. I was 16 after my sophomore year in high school, when my parents decided it was okay to buy me a cell phone, which turned out to be my Relic flip phone. I was hoping for an LG Cosmos 2, but did not get it. I wished for a cell phone with a keyboard, like some of my friends, but did not get it. I had my share of incidences with that phone, where some random person would unexpectedly call me, thinking that I was somebody they knew and wanted to talk to. And when you told them that they got the wrong number, they would not admit that they had made a mistake. And that is how this video's title and theme came about. The first story of random people calling me was when I worked at a fast food joint. I will keep the name to myself, but you would probably guess which one, but I will not say. That's right, another junk food joint story. Yes, that fast food joint that professes how fresh their foods are. I was nearing closing time, about five minutes to closing, when the phone rang. I picked up the order phone and said, Ugh. This is a blink blink junk food restaurant. May I help you? I was supposed to say, this is Jason, how may I help you? That is what the restaurant rules require me to say, but I would not tell this stranger and a random person my real name. What an idiot I was, not following the rules. And from the other line, the random person says, Hi, what time do you usually close? In about five minutes, I said, and he repeated, 
You guys closing in five minutes? Is it okay if I show up a little late? I am Jason. What? Your name is Jason? Did you say you would show up in five minutes? Strange. Did he say that or was it all in my head? His name is Jason. What a coincidence. He repeated, Is it okay if I show up late in five minutes? I need some gas. Very strange. I was getting ready to make this guy's sandwich over the phone, even though we were awfully close to closing and he would be late. I thought I would make him a sandwich, pocket the money, and not ring it in. I'm kidding, guys. I would not do such a thing. That's a crime. Punishable under the Humburger rule. So, please, do not sue me. Yes, I can make you a sandwich. What type of sandwich would you like? And he said, no, I need gas. Okay, sir, do not worry. Our sandwich will give you lots of gas. And do you want fries with that? No, he repeated. No, gas. I need gas. At this time, I was perplexed, and I said, All right, so you want gas. When will you be here to pick up your sandwich then? I don't want a sandwich, he screamed. I still thought that this guy was calling a fast food joint. And now it dawned on me that he did not realize that he was talking to somebody from the hamburger place. He thought he was talking to somebody in a gas station. But I mentioned the name of the fast food joint when I first picked up the phone. Didn't he hear me or understand what I said? Then I said to him, listen, sir, this is so-and-so, hamburger place. Oh, he hangs up. And I never got to tell him that gas pumps around here do not close. Really, can you believe this guy? He spent more than two minutes over the phone with me and did not realize that he was talking to a hamburger boy working in a burger joint? And what was even worse is that he did not know he called a burger joint and that he called and asked a gas station what time they close. I will give him some slack because he could be out of town. Otherwise, he would have known that gas stations around here are open 24 hours. On one breath, I was angry with him for wasting my time, and on the other hand, I felt sorry for the guy, who knew how far he had been on the road driving and about to run out of gas. Poor guy. For all I know, he could have been driving for days from Alaska. Believe it or not, it happened again. Another weird wrong number story occurred when I was at home and got a call from a number I did not recognize. Friends had told me they do not answer the phone to any number they do not recognize, but my curiosity will not let me do that. Think about it. What if your bank calls you saying your account got hacked? What if it's your grandma calling from a new cell phone number saying she is falling and cannot get up? Or what if your Nigerian uncle who wants to give you his collection of gold bars and needs your information for a wire transfer? You never know, so I always pick up the phone. It's just so risky not to pick up. So on this occasion, I answered it, and it was a woman's voice asking for Matthew. And I said, oh, I'm not Matthew. Uh, you got the wrong number, ma'am. And she said, is this not 413-292 number? That is not an actual number, so do not try calling it. Then I said, this is 41329 blah 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 blah. That was my exact phone number. And she said, two? I don't believe I dialed two. At this point, it is evident that I was dealing with somebody who might have lost her mind. I did not know what else to say to her. She called my number, and now she is saying that she never dialed two. If she did not dial two, how come she is talking to me now? And I do not know what to say to this woman. How could she be talking to me if she did not dial 2? My phone number has freaking 2's in it. This next wrong number story happened not too long ago. This time I got a phone call from a number I did not know or recognize at around 10 a.m. Believe it or not, I was still lying in bed asleep. I know what you are thinking, and most people would probably agree that I was supposed to be awake and doing something productive at 10 in the morning. For some reason, it dawned on me that this stranger might think I was lazy, so I decided to answer the phone in my best, I have been up and very productive voice. Hey, what's up? Jason speaking. And the person on the other line said, Hello, you must come quickly. Tom fell down the well, Vance. Uh, what? And the voice repeated, I told you, you must come quickly, because Tom fell down the well. At this time, I could tell it was a woman on the other line, but who was Tom? I did not know anybody named Tom, and her accent and the way she talks do not sound familiar. Or was it because I just woke up? I wondered, 
at this point, I was trying my best to control myself and not go off on her. So I said, ma'am, I think you have a wrong number. And on the other line, I heard her screaming incoherently, saying something that I did not understand. Then the last thing I heard was, okay, goodbye, incoherently still screaming. Then beep, she hangs up the phone. So I told myself, Jason, why don't you get up and start your day? Immediately after I said this, it was another phone call from the same person. And I am saying to myself, am I dreaming? How could this woman be calling me again after I told her that she got the wrong number and she hung up on me and said goodbye? Now, I began to wonder if some emergency was going on and she said, hang on, Vincent. Strange, I said to myself. My name is not Vincent. Then I heard, hello, Vincent? This time in a different voice. She handed the phone to somebody else to talk to me. Wow. This time, I could understand what the other person was saying, but I will never forget what she said to me. Vincent, you are not funny, and nobody thinks that you are funny. I was hurt severely, even though I was not Vincent. It hurt a bit. I said to her angrily, Look here, lady, I am not Vincent. Well, she said, This is the number I was given. What is so annoying about these strange calls from wrong numbers is that they never take any responsibility for their mistakes. Instead, they always look for somebody to blame. It would have been nice for her to say, I am sorry, I got the wrong number. No, she sounded so condescending, as if I were the one wasting her time. And she hung up on me, just like the first lady. My frustration grew, having been hung up on twice. So I called her back. I said to her, hey, I just finished talking to Vincent, the guy you were trying to get a hold of. He is hilarious. I told him that some ladies were trying to get a hold of him, and he said, and he said, he did not give out his phone number. He was wondering where a very rude and piece of crap like you would have gotten his number. I am kidding, guys. I did not say that to her. So what did I do after this annoying and prolonged wrong number call? I asked myself, do everybody and their grandmothers get this many phone calls from strangers? Probably not. So I changed my phone number. I feel sorry for whoever may have my old phone number right now because they might feel the same thing I felt in those odd weeks and months of having that phone number. This is my wacky wrong number stories, guys. I appreciate you, and thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.